Well, a shaky emergency landing for an Air Canada Rouge plane this morning at London's Gatwick Airport. What you're looking at is passengers just before that holding up a piece of the ceiling. But that wasn't the original problem. The Toronto-bound flight had to turn around just moments into its journey because a tire burst during takeoff. The emergency landing caused havoc on the ground. The airport had to close the runway twice for inspections, creating dozens of delays, uh, some diversions, as well as cancellations as flights all backed up. One passenger telling City News she heard the tire burst on takeoff, and after circling for a while, they had a bumpy landing. The point where we actually... Uh, left the ground, there was suddenly a big bang um, and some scrambling noise, sort of like a noise that's not supposed to be there. You know, usually it shakes a bit when the, uh, the landing gear is sort of uh, in, in the aircraft, but it was sort of wobbling. I was sort of looking around wondering what that was. It was very bumpy landing. It, it felt exactly what you would expect to feel when, I mean, if you're driving a car and there's like a tire flat, it would be like a very bumpy ride. Yeah. After the flights, nearly 300 passengers left the plane on the runway. They were taken back to Air Canada's check-in counters, which were not staffed. We spoke to a Scarborough man who was on the flight as well. He says passengers were calm during the emergency and for hours after the incident. But as confusion has mounted, their patience has worn thin. So at first, everyone was like calm and everything. But then at around, like I'd say, 8 o'clock, it got like really hectic and people were starting to get upset. A lot of like yelling and stuff like that, but people people have calmed down now because they started like slowly getting people to hotels. But there's still like a good, I'd say about 50 to 60 people still here waiting to figure out like what's happening. In a statement, Air Canada tells City News, as per standard operation procedures and as a precautionary measure, the crew requested air emergency services presence after a tire blew upon takeoff. We apologize for the inconvenience and are currently working to provide hotel rooms to our passengers and get them on their way as quickly as possible tomorrow. Khalil says that uh, nearly 10 hours after the incident, he and other passengers were still waiting for a hotel, but he is booked to fly back home tomorrow afternoon.